this footage you are about to watch is of how God used his servant, Pastor P.R.A. E. Obaseki, to bring divine healing upon Mrs. Glory Peter at the DGOGC headquarters prayer line session. Let us watch. This lady had come to the prayer line section at Divine Grace of Glory Church, believing Jesus, the miracle worker, would set her free from her affliction. So what's the problem here? My, my friend, she cannot walk for more than six months now. She woke up for a dream. He cannot walk. Since then, I have shed his pain here. Man of God, please help my friend. Please help my friend. What happened, madam? When I chest has been spending me for six months now, they have taken me to everywhere. There is no solution. Your chest has been putting you since six months now. They took you to everywhere. No solution. No, no, no. Mm -hmm. I can't even stand. I can't walk. You can't stand. You can't walk. No. My body will be shaking. Looking at her, we can observe that she has emaciated as a result of this affliction. There is no affliction or sickness greater than the power in the name of Jesus present in the water of life. Watch and see as the man of God ministers the water of life given to him by revelation in the place of prayer by the Holy Spirit. Your body will be shaking. Okay, thank you. Where's the water of life? Thank you, Father, for this water of life to redeem her. Redemption in the name of Jesus. Freedom in the name of Jesus. Peace in the name of Jesus. Remarkable how deliverance and health has been restored. Remember, there is life in the water of life that transforms the dead back to life. Thank God for his power resident in the water of life. I serve a God who is powerful. I serve a God who is mighty. This God is a good God. You can call him a miracle. She to you? Yes. Who will be to you? Yes, my daughter. Your daughter? Yes, sir. What, what will be the problem? Chest pain. Chest pain? Uh, uh, for how long? Uh, 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 six months. For six months? Uh, uh, you know the waka? You know the, you know, you know, you know the, you know the feel the waka? No. But she the waka now? Not so. Eh? Not, uh, not God. Not God. Not God. Shall we shout thank you, Jesus? Your healing will make permanent in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you. She's free. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, my Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. I am free. I am here. Thank you. Sister, Jesus. I can see you smiling now. Yes, so I am. Where is the chest pain? It's gone. Eh? I can't see. I, I, I thought I am so happy. You are so I happy. I am free, yes. I am free. You are free. I am free now. I am free. Mrs. Glory Peter came to Divine Grace of Glory Church to testify of God's mercy over her life. Let us watch. More grace, everybody. My name is Mrs. Peter Glory. The woman standing beside me is my mom and my good friend here. Yeah. So I am here to share my testimony, what God has done in my life in this ministry. I was sick for the past six months. I was taken to different hospitals from our bodies. There was no solution. And even the process of this, my sickness, my husband lost his job. And this sickness came when I had a dream that two women pressed me on my chest. That was how this sickness started. And I was having this pain on my chest. I could, I could not eat. I can't take anything. Even when I tried to eat, I would start stooling, vomiting. My case was so serious. 
So when I went to a scan, scan said they could not find what is wrong with me. They brought me back at home. So the last church that I was taken to, when the pastor saw my case, he was so scared. And he called the woman that brought me and told the woman that she would return me back, that she cannot handle my case. They brought me back home. So I was dying. My case was very serious. So there was a night I all called my husband. I said, I called her. I said, my husband, I know you have tried for me. I said, please, in case I die, please do not forget my mom. Because you know I'm the only one she have. So I said, I said, I know I don't have a child. I have not given you a child that, so that you will remember me. But for the sake of the good time we have together, do not forget my mom. So I was crying. I was so confused. I, so my, I never knew that my mother was listening to what I was saying. She came out and started crying. Said, so you want to leave me? So the way your, your, your family left me. I will be the one to die for. I said, Mommy, no, you don't need to die. There is life in you. There is no life in me again. You people have tried for me. So that morning, my mother left. And when she came back, she came back with this, my good friend here. When she saw me, her, she was shocked and said, Auntie, what is this? What kind of sickness is this? I said, I don't know. I am dying. He said, No, you will not die. The God of Pastor P.I. or Baseki is going to wipe away your tears. I said, ah, I have been taken to church. Even church rejected me. He said, don't worry. When I take you to Divine Grace of Glory Church, your case will be different. I just, not that I believe, but I was like, I have no choice. Then I just said, okay, as you can see now, I cannot walk. I can't do anything. He said, don't worry. So that Sunday morning, she came with a tithing and they took me to church. So I was opportunity to join the prayer line session when the man of God, Pastor P.I.A., minister on water of life to me. Immediately, something came out of me, and I regained my strength. I start walking. That was how I received my healing. And during the time of this, my sickness, my menstrual circle stopped flowing. So after my encounter with the man of God, Pastor P.I.A. Obaseki, after two weeks later, I met my friend. I said, ah, God has healed me. I cannot walk. I can eat very well now. But there is something that is bothering me. I want to see the man of God. He said, what is it? I said, during the time of this my illness, my menstrual circle stopped flowing. He said, didn't you believe that God who used that water of life to heal you can still do it again? I said, yes. He said, go and buy the water of life. I went, I bought the water of life. I started using it, praying with it. So the glory of God, this month on the 20th, my menstrual Seko burst out. That was why I'm here to give thanks to God. Put your hands together for Jesus. If you are seeing what Jesus Christ has done, rise on your feet, rise on your feet. Put your hands together for Jesus. God bless you. Somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Jesus says, if you only believe, all things are possible. So, every, madam, are you a member of this church? No, sir. Thank you. You know why I ask that question? Many that are too familiar with the anointing, they disvalue it. It is water of life that Jesus used to resurrect her. She knew that there was no life in her again. Everyone had rejected her. Hospital rejects. Which doctors reject? Where is the hope? That's a water of life. Many here, they are accusing me for it. They are asking questions, waiting to put for inside. Just say, not put charm for inside. Wait till they charm people. All these questions, that is why many are not receiving their blessing. Can you see the difference between now and when they brought her to prayer line? Now, look at what Satan was after to destroy. 
Just look at her. And there you see obituary. God forbid. So, so, so person, she died at the age of very young, tender age. No child. This, 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 this. Somebody shout, God forbid. God forbid. Here where the problem started from. A demon used the face of a woman to come and oppress her chest in the night. That's what the problem started from. I always say to you, this word, very, very wicked. Now, what are they fighting her for? Why do they want to kill her? He not get motto. He never get picking. He never get money. Okay, why are they after her? That you should know that you don't have to offend before they go after you. Get connected to grace. Okay, let's hear from uh, next person there. Is it her mother? Let's hear from her mother. Anything the way my Pekin talk is true. In not lie. Mama, not only be daughter what you get. Yes. Thank God for saving your daughter. Yes. God bless you. Yes. Okay, let's hear from our friend. How did the journey came to Divine Grace of Glory Church? Mom, grace, my brother, my sister. I to, I want to thank God for what God used my my spiritual father, Pastor Bia Obaseki, to do in the life of my friend. So my friend has said everything. So I'm happy. I am proud. I have a father that I'm proud of. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> We give thanks to God. So, sister, we thank God for what God has done for you. It is better to know God than any other. So, how is your health today? I'm fine. I can see it in your face and in your words, in your voice, that Jesus glorify himself in your life. The water of life brought life back into the dead corpse. And today, all eyes can see all over the world. Shall we say thank you, Jesus? Thank you, Jesus. So we bless the name of the Lord. Sister, what can you say about this water of life? What, what I see about this water of life is that Wherever you are using this water of life, just believe that it will work for you. Don't give up because it is your belief that will set you free. Jesus says, if thou wouldest believe, all things are possible. So what advice have you to give to your viewers today, our lovely sister? My advice to my viewers is that no matter what you are passing through, don't give up. It's only God that has solution to your problem. And there is churches, there is a church. There is pastors, there is a man of God. And who is that man of God? It's Pastor P.I.O. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All glory be to Jesus. Thank you so much. We thank God for what God has done for you. Your healing deliverance remains permanent in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you in Jesus' name. God bless you. Shall we give a clap profit to Jesus Christ? Come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you, and learn of me. For I am meek and lowly in heart, and ye shall find rest unto your souls.